Right, this is still 3E part 1, but this is an extension exercise. So if you're working ahead of the rest of the class, it's worth having a look at this. But it's certainly not going to get you any marks. When you pick uh, an instructor, you choose the name. And you notice it only leaves the full name in there. When you choose a car, it only leaves the registration number in there. Be useful if it would actually leave uh, the information, such as the full name of the person, in these boxes. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. And we're going to do it by instead of basing a combo box on a table, we're going to base it on a query. So I'm going to create a new query. I'm only going to do one of these, and then you can decide if you, how many you want to do. So we're going to do this one for the instructor. So we add the instructor on there. And then we choose the information that we want to be in our combo box, which will be from the instructor ID through forename and surname. What we're going to then do is have an extra field here that is going to be what will actually be displayed. Okay, And so we do that, we're going to combine the forename and surname together. So this is going to be the full name, so I'm going to call it full name. We use a colon and we're going to say it's going to be the full name and a space and the surname. Okay, now if we look at this query, that's what we've got. Okay, so we've got the instructor ID, the full name, the surname, and then we've got the full name here. We could have done it the other way around. We could have had surname, space, full name if we wanted to. That's absolutely fine. It certainly makes it easier for searching. Uh, so sorting if you do it that way. So we'll save this query okay, as instructor combo query. And now what we'll do is we'll recreate our instructor combo box. Okay, so I'm just going to do it over here for now. So you can see that's a text box. That won't help, will it? So let's try the combo box instead. And we're going to look at the values from a table or query, and we're going to choose queries. There's our instructor combo query. And these are the fields that I can add on. So I can put on the full name and the surname separately, or I can just put on the full name. So we have the instructor ID and the full name. We can choose a sort order. Now this is where I said if you'd have done surname, then first name, you would be able to sort by okay, the uh, surname uh, because it would put the surname first. We'll do it by full name, it will search, uh, sort by the first name. But you can do it however you want. It's also possible that we could add in the full name and surname, sort by them, and then hide those columns. So there are alternative ways of doing this. So there's our instructor ID. We're going to need to hide that later. Okay, it's not giving us the option to hide it at the moment, so I'll show you how we can hide that. And then it's saying, how do we want to link this to the database? Well, it's always a primary key that we link. So we'll use that, and then we'll aim it, instructor. So let's look at what we've got so far. We can choose the instructor, but it's showing us the primary key, which we don't need. So if we go back to design view, and we have a look at the format of this, you can see that we've got two columns, okay, and we've got column which is a 2.54, 2.54. So if I change the first column to zero, it will hide that completely. Watch this now. There we go. And as I choose them, we can still see the full name there, unlike here, where we just get to see the first name. Okay, so when I hit that column, if you had four columns because you put the full name and surname because you wanted control over sorting, you could hide those other columns as well. You can also do other things here like changing the number of rows that are going to be listed. So if you want to be able to see 20 or 30 instructors all in the combo box, you can put those in there as well. So that was just an extension exercise. You can do a similar thing with the car and you can do a similar thing with the learner if you choose to. If, though, you haven't finished everything, don't do this part. You need to make sure you get your marks for the annotation earlier on.